So in the series of learning Python programming language, we have discussed one loop, four loop in Python, right? Now we'll be working on one project in this video. This is our second project in the series. One project we have discussed that was rock, paper, scissor game, right? Very simple. This is also not a tough one, but you have to use whatever knowledge you have gained till now in the series. You have to use all your knowledge here in this project. And the project is you have to create, you can say it's a password generator program, right? Now, okay, before discussing this thing, let me just show you what kind of output should be there for this project, right? Okay, so this kind of output I want like first it will show you welcome to the password generator that line or it is not necessary. The next line is it will ask how many letters would you like in your password. Let us suppose I am entering four letters I want. Then how many symbols would you like? Uh, three. How many numbers you like? Like suppose two and enter. See now this is my password. In this password I am having like four letters small e capital s small n small n then symbols three symbols star this m percent and then this round bracket then two numbers i have nine and nine randomly it will choose any number maybe same number it can choose here in this case it is choosing the same number nine and nine two numbers it may be seven nine or one two or any numbers right so this kind of password this one is what the hard level password tough one Easy level, maybe like four letters. So at starting, it will give four letters, then three symbols, then three numbers. Let me just show you that output also. Okay, the simple one is same. It will ask how many letters would you like in your password? Suppose four, then how many symbols? Uh, three and numbers, suppose two numbers. See, four numbers, sorry, four letters. So at starting, it will continue give four letters, then three symbols, then continue three symbols, then two numbers, and then two numbers. These are not, it's like you can know, these are not shuffled in shuffled way. Four letters, then symbols, then numbers. So if hacker knows at which position you have two numbers, and it, it, at, which, uh, no, at what position you have symbols, at what position you have letters, then it would be easy for him to crack the password, right? So you will be working on both the levels. First one, the easy one, this one, and the next level is the hard level. Your password should be shuffled, right? So let's try this out now. Okay, now you got what kind of output we want, right? For this password generator project. Right now, first one, two levels are there easy level and hard level. So, first try with easy one. Right? So, obviously, see, we you have to generate like random numbers, random numbers, random symbols, like three numbers or four numbers, or whatever number a user will enter that much numbers. Right? So, one idea is you have to understand first the logic, don't just you know, no, go to your laptop and try to you know. Uh, type the uh, program and all first understand or maybe if it is possible try to make a flow chart so random number you have to generate so obviously we will use some random kind of things so you have to import random module so read about this thing from random what you can use which many functions are there what function is you know suitable for you to this for, for to create this project right now you have like list of letters, small ABCD, capital ABCD, list of numbers from 0 to 9, list of symbols, some symbols are there. You can take that list or whatever you want. I don't know. You can take those things. You can do some random functions. You use of some random functions, how you will choose. And suppose if you are choosing like obviously four, four letters, first one letter, then second, then third, then fourth, like this. So you will use loop for loop we have discussed we have discussed range function also that also you can use here and that would be i guess if you are able to put together all these things in correct way then it would be very easy for you guys right so try this out pause the video and try this out first try this that easy level then go to the hard level okay then i'll uh, we'll discuss the solution so i hope you have done this project if not it's okay you can go to the solution or maybe take some hint and pause the video and then try the uh, try this out let's create a new file and uh, we'll be naming this project 
टू अंडर स्कोर पासवर्ड जनरेटर डॉट टी वाई सो ओबियसली विल बी यूजिंग सम रैंडम फंक्शनैलिटीज रैंडम फंक्शन सो बेटर टू इम्पोर्ट रैंडम मॉड्यूल फर्स्ट राइट देन विल बी हैविंग फ्रॉम लेटर्स विल बी चूजिंग फ्रॉम कैपिटल और स्मॉल लेटर्स ट्वेंटी सिक्स कैपिटल ट्वेंटी सिक्स स्मॉल दैन सम नंबर्स दैन सिंबल्स सो लेट्स टेक लिस्ट ऑफ दोज लेटर्स सिंबल्स एंड नंबर्स ओके सो हेयर हेयर आई हैव लेटर्स द लिस्ट स्मॉल ए बी सी डी कैपिटल ए बी सी डी दैन नंबर्स फ्रॉम जीरो टू नाइन एंड सिंबल्स दीज आर थ्री लिस्ट आई एम हैविंग सो रैंडमली वी विल बी चूजिंग फ्रॉम दीज लिस्ट राइट सो फर्स्ट थिंग इज वॉट इट विल प्रिंट लाइक वेलकम टू पासवर्ड जनरेटर and then it will ask from the user how many numbers you want how many letters and how many symbols so using input function will be taking input like in input we simply write how many letters you want in your password and that thing always storing in a variable letters we cannot take <coughs> letters because it is name of this list also so number of letters n underscore letters and whatever you will take <coughs> sorry using input function that would be uh, a string but i want that should be integer so let's type cast this here only int okay same line we will write for like symbols and for numbers so i am just copying and pasting this line here and will do some changes till now we are fine right now we have to generate letters symbols and numbers from the list right and then first generate suppose i want four letters so four letters and then we can like uh, we can take a empty string and add those four letters to that empty string then suppose three symbols so then three symbols then add suppose two numbers then add two numbers to that empty to that string and then just simply print that string that's it that is easy level so let's take a empty string first our name is password and this is what an empty string i'm taking right now i want to generate four suppose four letters i am entering at first input four four letters 1 2 3 4 so we have to use a for loop like for a variable name variable name i am taking suppose i or char or a b c d x y z any variable you can take for i in now do we have a function that can that can generate these like numbers like i want four letters so it can generate like four numbers 1 2 3 4 if seven then seven 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 something like this yes we have a range function range and we can give the range 1 2 1 to this time i want four letters right so if i give like 1 2 rather than obviously four second time maybe i a user enter five letters six letters seven letters so obviously statically i cannot give so here what this variable we will be taking n underscore letters but but the problem is if 1 to 4 if i am giving n letters is equal to 4 so range function will generate 1 2 3 not 4 including 4 not 4 but i want four letters 1 2 3 4 right if you are not aware about this you can just check out the video on range function we have discussed if then n letters is 5 so it will generate 1 2 3 4 4 whatever the and size the stop point stop point minus 1 it will generate so if you want to generate <coughs> these four letters if we are giving this input 4 then you have to give here n letters plus 1 so if input i am giving 4 so here 1 2 4 plus 1 1 to 5 then it will generate 1 2 3 4 yeah exactly i want four letters so it's okay 1 2 3 4 right right now <coughs> at this point of at running time this rather than this it will be replaced with 1 2 3 4 4 so at first one would be assigned to this i 1 1 in this range 1 2 3 4 yes condition true 
so now we will generate a uh, random any random letter from the list so if you want to uh, generate any random letter from the list we have a function choice <coughs> if you remember that random module that video random dot choice and in bracket simply pass that list name list name is letters this letters right and whatever letter it will produce it will generate we will fetch we will uh, you know uh, fetch that letter or just store that letter in a variable suppose care or any variable we can take this time i'm taking here i'm taking care right and then after generating that character just add that character to this password this empty string so just add this thing here password is equal to or you can say concatenate and simply we have discussed in the very first videos of my python series using plus we can concatenate in strings so password plus care that's it right so if you simply want to print at this point of time what would be the password after generating after just completing one loop only the numbers only just we are going to just check out like till now we are working fine or not or is there any problem or is there any error let's run this welcome to password generator how many letters you want suppose four it will ask how many symbols three how many numbers two see it will generate only one for loop we have uh, discussed till now we have written in, in our program le for letters so four letters are there small o capital m small u capital z and it will just print these four letters that's it now you have to generate three symbols two numbers and add in the string and just print i hope now this is easy for you at this point of time if you have got whatever if you have got that one for loop right so if you have got this for loop then easily you can write down those two remaining for loops right and rather than this this line we can use th that shorthand also the password plus equal to care that is also fine right or rather than these two lines we can simply use we can simply write password plus equal to random dot choice letters in one line also we can write down this thing but better to write down you know for better understanding for beginner for beginners it would be better to write down these two lines right okay rather than printing the password here now one more for loop for i in range one more for loop for second thing is for symbols so range would be 1 2 n underscore symbols plus 1 why plus 1 I hope you got this and then here same we will generate a character uh, sorry like uh, say any random symbol so we have a variable random sorry it's r a n d one random dot choice and simply pass symbols from this list we have to choose right and then simply we have a password we can simply add that character those characters one by one right so here for symbols also one loop is for numbers so simply i am going to copy paste this loop only for i in range third is for numbers so it should be n numbers plus one then rather than the list name is here should be numbers and then we will be adding the this one by one this character to, to the password and finally we will print now print password okay let's run this and see letters how many letters four three two see at starting we have four letters then we have three symbols symbols may be same two symbols are same like the opening braces opening uh, round bracket right and two numbers eight two but these are not shuffled these are in a particular order so this is not 
a tough one to crack this password is easy now if you haven't done this before at this point of time you got the idea right now pause the video and try the hard level without checking the solution right okay now i hope you have done this <coughs> what we can do see if uh, you have uh, you remember that function shuffle we have discussed a shuffle is a function in a random module choice is to uh, choose any particular any random thing from any random item from the list and shuffle is to shuffle the list so suppose rather than this string because at first here we are taking password as a string rather than the string if we have a list password list here we have pa list then we can easily shuffle that list using shuffle and then we can simply print good idea so rather than taking here string let's take list let's take another thing password list and rather than string we are taking sorry we are taking empty list here right now maybe you are thinking in uh, using plus we can concatenate in string same method applies to a list also you can just generate any random character and you can using plus only you can simply concatenate to that list also so no need to change here plus that is fine three loops would be same right so okay rather than here print password at this point of time we are printing password list okay let me just show you the difference okay 432 password is not defined okay sorry we are using here password but the name is password list at this this time we have updated we have changed the name it's password list here also password list and here also we have password list right okay i hope it works 432 see now we'll be having four letters three symbols two numbers but in a form of list okay now next next uh, now thing is shuffle this list okay simply we have using for loop also we can shuffle this two methods but directly we are using we have a inbuilt function so use that one shuffle and password list okay and now again print password list okay let's run this and see see this is first and this list is after shuffling see here it's not like that first four we are having letters first we are having this letter q then we are having a symbol then again a letter then a number then letter like this so we have shuffled this list so this is i guess more secure password right now it's a list obviously but we need password in a form of a string just right so how to convert this thing into a string okay fine we will simply take a empty string very easy right we'll take a for loop will be taking a for loop for i or any variable name you can take for i in password list in that list shuffled password list so now password list is and then from the shuffled password list the first uh, first item would be assigned to this i so that item in password list that would be obviously true so we will fetch that first item and then add that item to this empty string yes okay so how to add this password plus equal to or rather than i if we take care then that would be more meaningful password plus equal to care that's it and after that just print this string password right okay let me show you let's run this 
फोर थ्री टू सी फर्स्ट विदाउट शफलिंग देन द लिस्ट आफ्टर शफलिंग देन वी हैव दिस पासवर्ड सो रादर देन प्रिंटिंग दिस लिस्ट एंड दिस लिस्ट यू कैन सिंपली प्रिंट दिस दिस थिंग सो आई गेस दिस पासवर्ड इज अ टफ वन टू क्रैक राइट सी विदाउट शफलिंग इन आर आउटपुट दिस वॉज द लिस्ट आफ्टर शफलिंग दिस वॉज द लिस्ट राइट एंड देन वी हैव टेकन एन एम टी स्ट्रिंग देन फॉर कैर इन पासवर्ड लिस्ट नाउ एट दिस पॉइंट ऑफ टाइम दिस इज पासवर्ड लिस्ट सो फर्स्ट फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल द फर्स्ट आइटम वुड बी टेकन एट नाउ एट वुड बी असाइन टू दिस कैर दिस एट इन पासवर्ड लिस्ट ये कंडीशन ट्रू सो कंट्रोल विल एंटर हियर एंड पासवर्ड प्लस इक्वल टू कैर नाउ पासवर्ड इज इक्वल पासवर्ड इज नाउ एम टी सो इन एम टी स्ट्रिंग विल बी एडिंग द कैरेक्टर इन कैरेक्टर वी हैव एट सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल एट वुड बी एडेड देन नेक्स्ट इज थ्री देन थ्री वुड बी एडेड देन दिस एड्रेस ऑफ दैट वुड बी एडेड देन यू देन डॉलर टिल द एंड ऑफ द लिस्ट ऑल द कैरेक्टर वन बाई वन वुड बी एडेड टू दिस पासवर्ड एंड वी सिंपली प्रिंट दैट पासवर्ड दिस स्ट्रिंग नाउ आई होप यू गोट द वर्किंग ऑफ दिस थिंग बोथ द लेवल बोथ द लेवल यू गोट ईजी वन एंड हार्ड वन इफ नॉट इट्स ओके पोज द वीडियो take the notes with you know on your paper dry run this thing and then definitely will get it right so i hope you go teach and every line of the program we have written to generate this thing for a password generator project right if not please don't skip the video and don't just jump like you have you have you know watched my video and you got this no maybe you can just copy paste the complete code on your you know with you know a pen and on your paper and just dry run that thing try to understand each and every line why we have written that line in the program what is the meaning of that line try to understand the logic jo you know don't just go with my words or my program dry run at your own right so i think you got this this project you have done this project now we are done with we are done with two project in the series So now I'll see you next video till then bye bye take care